Welcome to Fox TV News, where everything is true. Money dispute leaves 72-year-old man dead in St. Thomas. The St. Thomas police are probing the death of an elderly man who was reportedly wounded by a relative during a physical dispute between the two over a sum of money that was reportedly stolen in Newlands in the parish on Friday. The deceased has been identified as 72-year-old Raphael Simit, otherwise called Daddy, a fisherman of Newlands in the Golden Grove area of St. Thomas. Reports from the Golden Grove Police are that about 5.45 p.m. on Friday, Simit allegedly attacked and wounded a relative, whom he accused of having stolen a sum of money from him. A tussle ensued between the two men, during which the relative reportedly used a stone to hit Simit on the head. The police was alerted and on their arrival, Simit was found laying motionless on the ground. Both men were taken to hospital, where Simit was pronounced dead and the relative was admitted for treatment. Senior female firefighter aims for top job. Freshly minted Assistant Commissioner of the Jamaica Fire Brigade, JFB, Julian Davis Buckle, is beaming with pride and joy. The senior firefighter was also promoted to area officer for era two, comprising St. Mary, Portland, Trelawney, and St. Anne. On Emancipation Day, her new role and subsequent authority took effect. As a former superintendent, Davis Buckle was already the highest ranked female in the Jamaica Fire Brigade. Now, Assistant Commissioner Davis Buckle is ascending gracefully as her sight remains set on her ultimate goal. For me, it is an achievement because it is something I have always wanted. It is setting me on my path for my ultimate goal of being the first female commissioner, Davis Buckle stated. News of her promotion came by the way of a meeting with the current JFB Commissioner Stuart Beckford. I was called to the commissioner's office for a meeting and it was in that meeting that he told me that having conducted the interviews and the assessment process, I was selected candidate for the position. Davis Buckle reported that she was happy and the mask she was wearing at the time helped to contain her excitement at the good news. I was looking at him steadfastly and he looked at me and he repeated it. I looked down at my desk and I was just overjoyed because it was a milestone for me even though it is not historic in the JFB because they have been a female occupying this rank before but she is now retired, Davis Buckle said. She is looking forward to new challenges as prior to August 1, Davis Buckle was in charge of Kingston and St. Andrew, a post she held since 2019. Since joining the Jamaica Fire Brigade in 2005 and starting her career in Manchester, the ex-team firefighter has not skipped a rank. After training, I went into Manchester and I went through the ranks to assistant superintendent in Manchester. I was promoted and transferred to take charge of Clarendon in 2010. In 2014, Davis Buckle said she was promoted and sent to St. Catherine. I worked there as head and then was transferred to Kingston and St. Andrew in 2019. She holds a master's degree in disaster and emergency management, a postgraduate degree in public sector senior management, a bachelor's degree in business administration, and an associate degree in human resource management. Davis Buckle is also currently pursuing a law degree. Her promotion took effect on Emancipation Day 2021, which made the occasion more memorable for Davis Buckle. I just think it is significant, the whole thing on Emancipation Day. I told my husband Friday about the promotion, and he said, I am going to book a ticket for you. I said, no, honey, you can't do that. I cannot just come like that. My husband is excited, and my son is overwhelmed, Davis Buckle said of her family soaking up the excitement. She is eager to get started and pointed to her first order of duty. Davis Buckle stated, One of the first things I like to do, I want to meet my staff. I want to hear from them, their expectations, what are some of the shortfalls they are having, and then I will do my own assessment. I want to ensure that Era 2 is aligned with the strategic objective of the Jamaica Fire Brigade. After 25 years, Davis Buckle said she would have done nothing else. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, and click the notification bell for daily updates.